Many Ghanaians and South Africans do not know that their envy and jealousy towards Nigerians is rather making them lost. They think that now Nigeria they lost. They are thinking that, you see, they are layman thinking, layman mentality. You understand? If I say mumu mentality now, they go to vex. Eh? But that is exactly what is going on, guys. Because they, they are envy and jealousy towards Nigeria. For them, they are thinking that they want to bring Nigeria down. But instead, it's costing them a lot of money. They are losing money, losing opportunities, losing advantages, losing many, many things because of their jealousy for Nigeria. They are losing. If you are a South African, if you are a Ghanaian, an African in general, and you envy Nigeria or you are jealous of Nigeria or you say negative things about Nigeria or you are one of those people, Kenya or any country in Africa, where your own is to be saying negative things about Nigeria, where your own is to bring Nigeria down with negativity, you are losing, sir. It, you are not benefiting. There is, a, there is a lot you will benefit if you collaborate and work well with Nigeria. There is a lot you will benefit. Okay? Ghana, South Africa, you are losing. Let me, re, let, me, let me reiterate on that statement. You people are losing a lot. A lot. A lot when it comes to music. A lot when it comes to movies. A lot when it comes to entertainment. See, Ghanaians can better understand what I'm saying. A normal Ghanaian who have sense. We bet, I don't even need to explain too much to the Ghanaian. Because you already be telling people it's true. What Ajim is saying is true. Because when we had the opportunity to collaborate with Nigeria in the movie industry, we had one of the best movie industries in Africa. We could count 10 to 15, 20, 50 Ghanaian movies being produced every month. We could see many Ghanaian actors and actresses making a lot of money from their careers. The, the movie industry in Ghana was booming and we were making money. That money was helping many Ghanaians. But immediately we lose that connection with Nigeria and started comparing with them, showing envy and jealousy towards them. Everything disappeared. And now our movie industry is basically a desert. Basically, as a normal Ghanaian, you should know that. But yet, some of them are not agree to understand this thing. To keep away that envy, to keep away that jealousy, and then come back and humble yourself and work with Nigeria again. Collaborate with Nigeria again. Make money. See, eh? no movie industry in this world now, no music industry, no entertainment industry can make you money the way the Nigerian entertainment industry can make you money. Even if you do movie now to do American things, it will not make you money. If you do movie now to do like European, it will not make you money. On the contrary, Americans and Europeans that are doing movie now to represent Nigeria. So, what is wrong? Now, now brain not the work. Now, brain not the work. Look at how America is using Nigeria to make money. You think America loves Nigeria? America don't like Nigeria at all. They don't like Nigeria. Europe don't like them. They don't like them because they see Nigeria as ah these people will take over. But at least eh, they are saying that huh. Make we make we let us let us be smart, even though we, we don't want to see Nigeria culture dominating the world. But that is what we give us money. Let us use their culture in our movies, make money. Black man, no, they think like that. Ghanaians, no, they think like that. South Africans don't think like that. They don't. They don't. Imagine how much. Look at the impact of Nigeria's collaboration with Black Sheriff. Look at the impact of Nigeria's collaboration with. Uh, this is the print guy who sang, I'm at the point in life if you understand me or not. Every Ghanaian musician with all hits make money, be a better person. It's thanks to that collaboration with Nigeria. Anyone will not collaborate, where is his music career? Where did he go? So imagine, just imagine that Ghana keep aside all these negative things and collaborate with Nigeria. How much more hits will be getting from Ghanaians? How much more success will be getting from Ghanaian musicians, Ghanaian movies, and all of that? How much more success will we get? But they no go think like that. No go think. Look at Beyonce. We come down to use Nigeria because she knows Nigeria is the key. Rihanna, all of them in America, all of them come down to use Nigeria. All of them, all of them. Why you people are busy down here in Africa? I don't know what is wrong with Africans. Instead of Africans to understand this simple something like this, I say, no, man, I don't care if Nigerians are doing negative things. I don't care. I don't care. There are great opportunities in Nigeria. Collaborate, work with them. Besides, everybody do negative things. Everybody they do negative things. I, myself, Ajim, I'm not perfect. 
Sometimes I do wrong things. Sometimes you do wrong things. Everybody does wrong things. And so because they think they are trying to bring down Nigeria, they are losing. They are losing a lot. But they don't understand. Because when person mumu, sense no degree enter brain. Sense no degree enter brain. This is the reality. Everybody else in this world is enjoying the advantages that Nigeria have except Africa. Some small African countries now they get sense. That's why you see Tanzania we say we want Nigerians to come. Botswana we say we want Nigerians to come. Smart African countries are changing. They, they might not like Nigerians but they, they are just changing. They are saying well these are the giants of Africa. These are the people that can help us. They are smart. It's true that we have bad few elements. We know we can manage them and control the negative elements and just like every country having uh, all those negative elements, manage and control those ones and work on the advantages that Nigeria have to make you better, to make Africa better, to make your country better. That is sense. That is wisdom. Wisdom. Something very far from Ghana and South Africa. Very, very far. So on their mind now, they are seeing the impact of Nigeria globally. On their mind now, they want to bring it down. That's why they are saying all those negative things. Not knowing that that energy is rather making them lost. They are losing so you have seen the impact of Nigerians in America, seen their impact in Europe, seen their impact everywhere. But only in some African countries, you will not see their impact. Why? African countries, they will just be talking about Nigerians, this Nigerians, that Nigerians, this. You know, which is a strategy. You think America is not happy? When America sees the way you Ghanaians and South Africans are behaving towards Nigeria, they are happy. They'll say, oh, Nigerians, come over to America. Let's make movies. Let's make music. Let's make now all the money that Nigeria is making in the music industry. Either the money is going to America and Europe and Nigeria. That's where the money is ending. Before, when you hear make a concert in Ghana, money will go to Ghana. Ghanaians will make money from that. We don't see it again. Mega concerts, mega shows in South Africa. Money will go to South Africa. Money will go to the Nigeria artists. Everybody will benefit. Now, it's not happening again. Now everything is America, Europe, Australia, America, Europe, Australia, France. Even French countries in Europe are now using Nigerians to make money and benefits. Meanwhile, our own African countries, they are too dull, they are too mumu, they don't want to get sense, they don't want to wake up to see how we can, you know, together as Africa, make use of the entertainment that Nigeria has, the powerful entertainment that Africa has. This was our time to use it to make money so that every African country can enjoy and benefit from the massive impact of the success that Nigeria's entertainment has gotten on the world. But we are busy looking for negative things to talk about. Make me try to get sense. Ghana, South Africa, Nigeria is the key, guys. This is not just because I love Nigeria. This is facts. It is what it is. Your boy, Ajim Maxi, on this one again. Come back anytime you're free, guys. Because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheese!